Hey guys, John here. Today is a Yaya monster, so hopefully you checked under your bed. Okay. So the main components of this patch is going to be some FM and then messing around with the filter and adding some distortion to that. So the way we get there is drop this down by one octave here on the pitch. And then let's go over to the order. So I have an order of five here. And for the panning, it is 100%. For the volume, is 75. For the pitch, is 50. For the uh, for the sublevel, zero. And then the phase is going to be 13%. And then the envelope is going to be at zero. I do have the sampling at eight here. You probably don't need it at eight, so you could probably bring that to at least two, I would suggest, maybe eight on the render, kind of definitely up to you how you want that to sound. So moving on to the first operator here. So what is going on here? So for our volume envelope, we're kind of just doing a little bit of, we're kind of ramping in a little bit and then fading it down, kind of standard, nothing too crazy there. But the important part here to note is this is basically just going to be a sine wave and this is going to be frequency modulated by operator number two and this is where the interesting spot actually comes in so this first oscillator here is going to be two ratio so a default pitch but if we go over to operator two it looks kind of like a sine wave but if we right click this and go to convert shape to sine harmonics we can kind of see what's actually happening here it's almost like a fuzzy kind of sine wave with all these little ripples going on here so we have our first fundamental and then over here on harmonic 30 32 at the fifth octave is going to be a little bit of percentage here at 13 percent the next one the harmonic 48 at 31 percent and then we have harmonic 64 at 10 percent and I believe, oh no, we have one more over here. So this is going to be the seventh octave at 6% over here. And that's pretty much all the harmonics needed to create this. And this is gonna be down one octave here. So once we jump back to operator number one, a couple interesting things to think about is once we, we already looked at the volume envelope, we also have some phase stuff going on as well in the unison. So basically the different unison voices, there's going to be five, as you can see by these dots here, one, two, three, four, and five, kind of just moving them around a little bit. So they have just different phases for all those different voices. So that's kind of the main recipe. Now, what you see here is this operator two is going to be a hundred percent modulating or frequency modulating operator number one. And the way we're going to control that is going to be through the mod X. So if we go over here to mod or for the volume here on mod X, we can see this ramp here, which we should be familiar by now. And that's, what's controlling this over here. So as we play this, we can see that mod X being moved and that's basically controlling the volume of operator number two. So that's going to be kind of the core part. If you want to modulate this moved over time, make the real yaya -ya sound because I have the automation that looks like this to make that yaya -ya type of sound. And you can see that also here in the uh, modulation. And also keep in mind, you can take off smooth if you want it a little bit more uh, not smooth, I suppose. Totally up to you. It is kind of cool here. If you notice here on the spectra view, it kind of looks like teeth a little bit, almost like a monster maybe, but I don't know. That kind of stuck out to me. I thought it was pretty cool. So now moving on to the filter. So as you see, operator number one is going 100% in the filter, but it's also going out. So we have kind of two things going on at the same time. So filter number two. So let's kind of look in and see what's happening to, or filter number one, oscillator number one. Let's see what's kind of going on in there. So for the cut, it's kind of going all the way at the top. Not too much is really happening, but the wave shaper is going to be on right here and it's going to be amped at 100%. And we're going to be drawing this type of curve here. And this wasn't necessarily completely planned out in the sense that I'm going to make it this this curve, this here, this this slope. It's kind of just moving the knobs or, or the, the nodes around and the curves to kind of get the right sound that you want. And then you kind of go from there. And then also we're going to have some effects as well in this patches too. So let's go over here to our effects and kind of see what's going on. So for our first delay, we have one, and this is going to be serial. So it's going to be feeding into the next delay. So our settings here is feedback level 50%. The time is going to be four. The stereo offset is going to be zero. So you don't have to mess around with that knob. And the volume is a 69%. You know what I'm talking about. Delay two is going to be the same thing, serial, tempo, and on. The feedback is going to be 50%, timing at six, nothing over here with the stereo offset, and then the volume is going to be at 50. And then delay three is going to be off, and then we're going to go to the reverb. 
So this setting is kind of up to you how you want to change it. But if you want to use these ones, you're more than welcome to. The low cut is at 64. The high cut is about 4.1, 4.2. The pre-delay, I believe, is... If it's on, no, it's not on tempo, so it's kind of all the way at the bottom, so the reverb starts instantly. Room size is going to be about 41, diffusion all the way at the top. Then our decay time is probably about 1.6 seconds. High dampening, 3.9K, and then the volume around 37, 38%, give or take. And keep in mind that these effects are not all the way going to the output 100%. It's maybe at like 75% of this knob, so keep that in mind as well. And that's pretty much it as far Oh, we also have the chorus here. Forgot to mention that here. So the chorus depth, 50%, the speed, 75 chorus delay, 5%, the chorus spread, 100%, and then the chorus cross, minus 25. I think a lot of these are going to be default for you. And then chorus volume, 100%. So with all that being said, some more magic that's actually happening, out, happening outside of the synth is extra distortion. So on this channel, I have Blood Overdrive, which as you know, hopefully by now, is one of the, my favorite distortions that FL has times 100 and maybe at about 0.1521 value. And then you also want to bring down the gain a little bit because this will increase your gain quite a bit. But it's a huge difference of the sound. So let's take this off and kind of take a listen to that. <laughs> So we have the the core, the sound of it, but once we bring in this distortion, you're gonna see quite a difference to it. And that's pretty much it. It's not too complicated, um, but it's a very cool sound if you wanna do something with that yaya distorted weird kind of sound, like a demon stuck inside a synth or something like that. So. This patch is always available for free download if you'd like in the video description below. Just keep in mind, this is for Citrus only, so you're gonna have to add some post distortion after it to get a similar type of effect. So hopefully learn something and we'll see you in the next video.